Guys, I did a thing. I bought a sunscreen. I know, I'm just, I'm just kidding. I buy sunscreen like at least once a week because I love trying out new sunscreens. So I saw this a while ago that Copper Tone came out with this facial sunscreen in the Everytown line, Invisible Finish Face. What I didn't realize is that it's coming into the family of super goop unseen dupage which we now have a bit of a legacy of dupes of this popular clear colorless zero cast lightweight water resistant sunscreen we have trader joe's we have black girl make it matte we have a few at this point okay even kroger tried to dupe it but in my opinion they weren't successful the best of the best of unseen dupes in my opinion is is from trader joe's um but let's see what copper tone is offering here let's try it out this is a first impression it is water resistant 40 minutes and it is spf 55 so sneak a little 15 up if you if, if you if you don't if you don't mind mind it splitting hairs but you know if you're gonna do try and one up it has fragrance which i don't like and stuff that's gonna be left on the skin. Oh, we're gonna try it out anyways because I'm sure a lot of people are curious about it. Uh, there's nothing in the ingredient list of, of note, okay? There's no like niacinamide, there's no licorice root, there's no antioxidant like Q10. It's just a bunch of background ingredients to make the formula. Organic sunscreen, aka chemical, so there's not going to be a white cast. You couldn't make a sunscreen like this mineral. You just couldn't. I mean, like, I'm not a cosmetic chemist, but let's be honest. You're not going to make a product like this with mineral actives. Let's squeeze her out here. And for comparison's sake, let's just see what Unseen looks like as far as texture. Unseen is a little, little slightly more runny, but we're gonna rub Unseen off on my thigh there because we're gonna do a full face of copper tone. Hmm, you know, the fragrance is actually kind of like Lancome adjacent. It's surprisingly a sophisticated scent, not something I would enjoy having on my face but it's not, it's not bad. It's not a bad scent. This feels oily. Like I kind of feel like I'm smearing oil on my face. Speaking of fragrance, if you were wondering about the Bath and Body Works strawberry pound cake love it love it love it i'm really glad i purchased that i don't have anything on my face i just woke up and did my omnilux to a bare face which is a clean face because i bathed last night before i went to bed and i didn't sleep in the mud so um i'm just putting this on bare skin all right, I have to bring in reinforcements here because the viewfinder will do me dirty every time. I'll be looking in the viewfinder, check in something, and be like, oh, it looks pretty good. Then I go and edit the footage and I'm like, all right, so let's check here. Is it as shiny as it feels? It's pretty emollient. Um, it's pretty emollient. What do you guys think? The fragrance isn't actually too bad, I will say that. Um, I don't know, it's not, it's not horrible, but it does feel really oily. So if you have oily skin, I don't think you're gonna care for the feel of this. Um, whereas the Unseen has more of a lightweight texture to it and is a lot more breathable and feels like it's mixing well with whatever oil is already on your face naturally. Um, same with the Trader Joe's one. This feels like, like, I don't, I don't have particularly oily skin, but I feel like I do now. Like, I feel like, um, I feel like I've got oil on my face. <laughs> All right, we're going to wear it the rest of the day. So the weather today is sketchy. It's like rainy, 
I don't know what to think of it. And I don't like to go out when it is rainy like this because I always fear being somewhere with that turn around, don't drown signage going on. So I don't know what's gonna happen today. Speaking of clear colorless sunscreens though, this one that I've been wearing from Bullfrog, which also has fragrance, um, if you're if you miss the backstory, this is actually what I would wear like back in the 90s um, And it's pretty good it the scent is like a light citrus scent now this product is Very fast absorbing not the least bit greasy. This is the opposite of greasy in fact Some people might even find it to be a touch on the drying side. It is super fast absorbing. It's great for sport it's great if you are doing something that generates a lot of sweat. Um, it, it's really good. Now, one thing I want to point out about this that I never encountered in the past because, like I said, I always used it you know, at the beach or lake or whatever. But if you have a lot of moisturizer on and you put this on over, it will pill, okay? Because, probably because of that low molecular weight alcohol. For example, the other day, you know, I've been doing, I do um, slugging on my lower legs a lot, and I woke up the following morning, put this on, and I was getting some pilling around the ankles. So be aware of that. That's something I, I've encountered with this because I'm such a avid body group. So it's been about an hour since we last left off. My face still feels a little oily, but not as bad as when I first put the sunscreen on. I'm gonna put some makeup on, so let's see how that goes because I'm kinda thinking it might pill up. Still using the Merit Minimalist Cream Concealer. And this Palladio brow gel is not bad at all. I purchased this from iHerb several weeks ago and no complaints. All right, that went on well, no issues there. FYI, recently I repurchased an oldie but a goodie. This is the Timeless Q10 Serum. I'm gonna start using this again. I really like it. I used that serum for like over a year and really found it to be great. I liked using it in the morning um, before sunscreen. This is like my fourth or fifth bottle of it. So far, so good. I'm not getting any pilling. Coming in with Shade Viper as my eyeliner. <laughs> Little bit of blush, Shade Fox. My face is still really shiny though. And I'm still on the Mascara Trio from Winky Luxe. So coming in with First Swipe as the lash primer. Now if the sunscreen is gonna cause my eyes to burn, water, sting, usually I will start experiencing that within an hour. And so far, so good. I haven't gotten like the blurry eyes and I will especially start experiencing it as I am putting on mascara and thus far I have not I'm not really feeling that okay coming in with so extra to the top detail oriented for bottom lashes oh Au natural all right a little lip gloss All right, it actually held up pretty well under the makeup application. Like I didn't get any pilling or anything of that sort, though it is still pretty emollient. So there's that. I just finished editing the vlog that went up, well, yesterday, and I realized, I don't think I said where I went. So that park with all the cool mosaics is called Smither Park, and it's part of this thing called the called Orange Show, which are these different folk art installations. And the orange show that I originally showed up to, which is right next to that park, like like they're adjacent to one another. Um, it's like this interactive um, folk art thing. But uh, as I was editing, I was like, did I get the hours wrong? I went on the website, which you should always do before you go anywhere. Um, I went on the website and it's closed for like repairs or they're, they're doing something to it, which makes me wonder if that like giant mouth that I was trying to point out to you guys in the distance, would you
but she couldn't the camera was not capturing it I, I'm wondering if that's part part of it so I'll have to keep my eyes peeled for when it um, reopens because we'll have to go back there and check it out anyway it's been about I don't know 10 or 15 minutes give or take since we last left off but sunscreen is not causing me blurry vision it doesn't feel as oily anymore but that took a while to die down i can't tell that it's got fragrance in it at this point all right i'm over here at this toy store which i'm hoping is open because my latest thing is these calico critters i just think they're the most adorable thing I bet you guys thought I was taking you to Mathnasium. Yes, there is one in this, in this. Destination oh. is on your right. All right, all right. Tomfoolery, toys, and books. Yes, there is a Mathnasium in this strip mall. I know you're excited. I, I know it's your favorite place. Um, if you're good, maybe we'll go in, but no promises. Well, they have lots of fun candy in here. Freeze-dried candy. I've seen that a lot on, I think, TikTok. I remember these. S'mores candy. Cleo's peanut butter cups, plant-based vegan. Twilight. This is also vegan. Oh my gosh, I kind of want to try this. I kind of want to try this. Bubble flavored bubbles. What if we buy this and try it? I don't know why I had to have this. Candy bubbles, bubble lick, ages two and up, so I think we're good there. Taste the fun. Um, if solution gets into eyes, rinse with water. Adult supervision recommended, so you guys gotta have my back. Do not drink solution. Lick only in bubble form. I, I was just, I'm dying of curiosity. I needed to know, does it work? It looks like, it looks soapy. Oh wow, it's a tri trifecta wand, all right. drink it only consume it in bubble form but like the bubble is not releasing it's just popping you see that I'm trying to blow gently it doesn't I'm gonna try and blow more forcefully. Maybe that's what I'm doing wrong. Ten out of ten do not recommend candy bubbles because they don't blow. <laughs> I was expecting a little bubble to pop off that I could like catch in my mouth. I mean, that's kind of what I was thinking, but no, it it doesn't do that. It. It just doesn't, it doesn't work. Don't get this for your kids. Bubble lick is not it. Y'all, Nair came out with a body spray hair remover. Now, this seems like a recipe for disaster just because I feel like with sprays, it's more of a, it's less precise. Um, you wanna be careful with these because if you leave them on too long, they really can tear up your skin. They're a safe and effective way to remove hair. They all work essentially the same. They have um, thioglycolates in them, which essentially just dissolve the hair, the proteins in the hair, the keratins. But if you leave them on too long, they start to chew away at your skin, so <laughs> be careful. And when you use them, don't exfoliate because that'll make them more likely to be irritating. Are these mini press-on nails for children? They're so tiny. I know 
some people have small nail beds, so maybe, but that's a really tiny, that almost looks like it's for a baby. Oh my gosh. Um, never would I ever care about a makeup fixing mist. I don't use these kind of things, but slap Hello Kitty on there and all of a sudden I'm like, um, where do I sign up? Likewise, um, not interested in a IFX glittery eyeshadow palette, but little Hello Kitty silhouette imprinted on there. Don't mind if I do. Hello Glowy Powder. Low palette. We have stuff out for our Memorial Day coming up. Like a moth to a flame. I am with water bottles, which I don't need, but this is one of a kind. Well, guys, final thoughts on the Copper Tone sunscreen. I would 10 out of 10 buy it over cotton candy bubbles again, but would not repurchase it over the vast majority of sunscreens out there. While it has not caused me any eye sting, the fragrance, which is not my preference to have fragrance in there, the fragrance was not bad, did not linger, wasn't even a bad scent to begin with. Um, the thing, it didn't pill under makeup. The thing about it I did not care for overall is the oily texture, which took a while to die down to a bearable level. So needs improvement. Um, I would go for the Trader Joe's one over this. It's not the worst, but mm, I don't know. It's definitely not the best either. Body wash recommendation. I talked about this in my April skincare of the month, stuff I tried throughout April. Well, this is the Dove Body Love Eczema Prone Skincare Colloidal Oatmeal, Oatmeal Body Cleanser. As someone who has hard water and atopic dermatitis, I have really enjoyed this. And I'm very critical of Dove body washes because I don't generally like them. Love the shampoos, but the body washes, eh. Love the bar soaps, but the body washes, eh. That being said, I haven't really tried that many newer Dove body washes. Like they have a salicylic acid body wash, et cetera, et cetera. I'm thinking in my mind, the classic Dove Horta Moisturizing Cream. It's just always not bad for me, but this I rather enjoy. No surprise because it has colloidal oatmeal, which has a cleansing property to it, but also hydrates and protects. I mean, it really offers a lot. It's one of my all time favorite ingredient, ingredient families, whether it be colloidal oats themselves or oat kernel oil, I just love it, can't get enough of it. It has petrolatum, it has glycerin, really, really mild, rinses off, leaves the skin hydrated, soft, smooth, not irritating at all, fragrance free, which I feel like brands need to understand that there is a market for fragrance free skincare. That's one thing I feel like most people I want to say are on the same page is that drugstore, Walmart, you know, big box stores, whatever you want to call them, is the place to get body wash. Um, Whereas for the longest time, people were just like being lied to and made to believe that they had to spend a ton of money to get good skincare, which is just not, just not true. Um, but people accepted that we could bathe with what was available in the drugstore. Uh, let me know, are you somebody who uses expensive body wash? If so, drop the name because I'm always intrigued. I feel like there's just not, there's not a luxury body wash market like there is for face cream and serum, which is interesting um, because I feel like bathing is something people enjoy as a way to relax and unwind. But um, coming back to the hard water issue, you know, with hard water, what it does is it'll interact with the surfactants in body washes leave a film on the skin and also is disruptive to barrier function. Can It's associated with um, you know um, more flares of atopic dermatitis. Plus it can interact with surfactants in your shampoos and 
uh, leave like a residue on your scalp and hair. Making sure you're not over using way too much body wash, and making sure you're rinsing it off all the way, and making sure that you're using a mild body wash, those are ways around the, the hard water issue. They can help you out. Wearing my Rolling Stones t-shirt. The concert last weekend was so much fun. I had a great time, despite the drama. <laughs> Uh, and if you missed the drama, check out last weekend's vlog. As a matter of fact, I'll put it on the end slate um, so you can watch that one next. I hope you guys are having a great weekend though. If you enjoyed this vlog, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and as always, don't forget, sunscreen and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye! Mm -hmm.